If you are a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor and you want and need more funding for your deals, regardless of your income, regardless of your credit, and regardless of your experience, don't go anywhere because I'm getting ready to give you access to the funding in just a moment. Well, welcome. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, and uh, we live in Moorhead City, North Carolina. But today on this episode, we are broadcasting to you from here in Orlando, Florida. How do I find leads for my first deal? So Ben is asking how to find leads for your first deal. But Ben, if you're watching live, you're watching on the replay right now, um, I'm going to go over the 55 different ways at the live event that we find them. But let me go ahead and give you some of our top uh, fast producing leads. All right, so first of all, I still do bandit sign campaigns. Uh, put them out on the weekend. No, I don't go into city limits. I'm, I'm out, you know, where the Walmarts are and uh, the shopping centers outside the city limits, but still where there's a lot of traffic. And um, we use bandit signs for finding sellers and for finding uh, buyers. But uh, I'll tell you what goes on the sign. The top line says, I buy houses cash, C-A-S-H, and the S is a dollar sign. And then it's, it says, any condition, any price, all areas. And then it has uh, a local cell phone number that you can either have go to your acquisitionist or yourself. I recommend not going to yourself. Or it can be going to a 24-hour recording message hotline. So bandit signs are still a, a very economical way to get a lot of leads. I do a lot of Facebook ads, which shouldn't be surprising to you because we're right here on live streaming on Facebook. But I target in my local area only two criteria on the Facebook ads looking for motivated sellers. And that is 35 years old or older and the zip codes that I'm targeting. Okay? The foreclosure system, that's about 25% of our business. Those eight direct mail letters that are sent out. Um, also, uh, as far as mailings go, I do postcard campaigns to vacant houses, and you can get those vacant houses lists actually from the United States Post Office, and that updates every month. Uh, so we've got foreclosures. My, one of my favorite lists is out-of-state absentee owners. Out-of-state absentee owners. So what I'm looking for are tired landlords that are not even in the area. So you got two pain points or two motivation pieces right there. So there's just a few. Who sent that in, uh, uh, Ben? Ben, yeah. ben, thank you for the question. Okay. So the question is, when we have a drop in value, is the private lender going to be stuck with the house, which of course they don't want the house. They are given a mortgage, or in North Carolina, a deed of trust, to uh, make sure that their loan to the real estate investor is uh, conservative, safe, and secure. But no, the private lender will not be stuck with the house, and here's why. Remember, we only borrow a maximum of how much, girl? Joy, tell them. No, I'm like, you're going to let me tell them? 75%. 75% of the after repaired value. So, what that means is if, if there's a decline in prices, of course, right now the market is super hot, hot, hot. Um, but when there is a decrease in prices, and there will be sometime down the road, there's a 25% equity cushion for the private lender. So uh, they're not stuck with the house. So that, that's a good question. Is the private lender on the deed, is the private lender on the insurance policy? Is the private lender on the deed and is the private lender on the insurance policy? So the private lender does not have ownership in the property. The private lender acts in the same capacity as a bank and gets the same protection as a bank uh, but they're not an owner, so they get a, uh, a mortgage. The private lender gets a mortgage to protect their loan to us, real estate investors. Um, but I tell you what, Mike, you are sort of close. They are. They get a deed of trust in North Carolina. They're not on the deed for ownership, but they uh, they get they get the mortgage, as most people call it. And the other piece to that question was is the private lender on the insurance policy. Yes, the private lender is named as the mortgagee, the mortgagee on the insurance policy, which means, God forbid, the house burns down or there's a claim, then the private lender gets paid first, just like the bank does. Lenders get paid before anybody else does when there's an insurance claim, and then whatever's left over goes to the owner of the property or the real estate investor. So, parting words. Oh, we're in Orlando, and I keep coming to Orlando and never get to see the Magic Kingdom and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, 
Jay is a magician. So come on to Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, or the city area to our live event and watch Jay's different brand of magic. He is, he is awesome. I think you'll love him like Aaron my does. Everybody have a fantastic day. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you soon on the next show. Bye for now.